Greetings and welcome back to Foundation. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I decided before I delete our mostly completed monastery, I would try out one more suggestion from the comments, which I just read. And um, we're going to try this and see if it works. I have no idea if it's going to work or not. I didn't try this yet. But let's have a go. I wanted to have it on camera if it did work so that we could all have this solution together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block out this whole thing. This is what was said to do. Block out the entire monastery or, or monument construction and then have a path, the tiniest path possible to get to the needed construction. So we're just gonna push this in this way and then just kind of, I'm gonna just go around this whole thing. Just make sure this one is available. The outside posts seem to be okay. Let's just give it a little more room there. Okay. Let's see if that works. What is going to happen with this? All right, let's go. Uh, unpause. There we go. Male 974. Female is bringing stuff. Going to fetch stuff. Please don't get stuck. Please don't get stuck. She is stuck. Really? <laughs> Please? No? Uh, oh, th though they did say, the person did say it takes some time. Um, so maybe. Let's see. Monastery. Female is bringing stuff. Male is now bringing stuff. He is stuck. Florence is bringing stuff. They are stuck. All right. Male is now bringing stuck. Stuff. Stuck. <laughs> He's bringing stuckness too. <laughs> oh God. God have mercy on our poor villagers who are getting stuck all the time. Please. He's stuck too. I wonder if it has to be completed from the inside. I wonder if we add... I don't know how long we have to let this go on because it said eventually they might get stuff. So we can watch probably the name on this change. Dominique is bringing stuff. Oh, look at this. It shows how much is left. Every time you open it, because we did see it have 600 and then 200 and then, or 300 and then now 25 only. Right. I wonder if they have to get it from the inside. So maybe, let's see, female 1204. Go away, people. Shoo away. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Go away. Um, you're getting stuff. You're also stuck. So let's try a different tact. Let's pause the game again and try... Instead of doing it this way, we will go this way instead. We will go inside. Like this. And then show them how it's done. Come on, guys. You can do this. Male, hello. This guy might not make it. He's stuck. Male 974 is bringing 18 stone. Is that the same one? He's fetching. He's fetching, fetching, fetching. He's stuck. <sighs> Females bring. All right, let's leave that for a bit. Uh, and in the meanwhile, we need to figure out how to get plenty of stone. I feel like a lot of it is going to the stone blocks, uh, which we now have 390 of. How many can we have at our... Probably a lot at the individual stone camps. I'm wondering how we get the amount for this bridge, though. Because this bridge is 693 stone. I wonder if we can stock... Let's try to stockpile this stone. See if that works. Not let them use it for other stuff. Just, like, say, nope, you can't use it. Female 1531 is bringing stuff and is stuck. <sighs> this is sad. This is very sad. I'm very sad about this whole thing. Oh, dear. Well... Male 901 is going to have a go. You're stuck too. Um, I guess we'll have to rebuild it. So I think what I'll do is this. I will stockpile the stone so that we can start building this over here because we do need that bridge. I, I really want this bridge. I don't want a wooden bridge. 
really want this kind of a nice bridge. Uh, and then 417 is quite a lot of polished stone. What I'm going to do is I will uh, cut the video very shortly here, and then I'm going to just build this up and have maybe even an extra blueprint. I'll build two of them. <laughs> it just, it's like, no. Uh. But uh, yeah, we'll, we need to replace this, and I guess I'm going to build it a little at a time. And that's how it's going to be. I'll probably do... I think I'm going to do this wing like this. And then I will start building this piece and that piece and then build out from the sides and hopefully it will be able to get done. All right, so I will, uh, I'll see you soon. All right, we're back in the game now. I have just started the construction site. It is, I realize, funny enough, so here is our um, example monastery. I built two blueprints of this. I have this one here, which is, um, so this is our layout that we had. And what I realized that was quite interesting is that these two pieces of cloister are not attached to the herb garden. Uh, they're actually attached to this side wall, this. So basically we have to build all around to get to this uh, thing right here. So what I've done is I have attached or I have um, added the central building, the abbey itself, the apse, two cloisters here, two cloisters here, the dorms, and then this cloister here. And we're going to try to build it up from this stage and see if this works. We should have enough materials to get this done. Uh, I'm going to unstockpile all the stones so that that can get delivered um, and hopefully get things sorted. Um, but let's see, let's look at the status of this building. It is building quite quickly. As you can see, people are working on it like crazy. I, uh, I thought about just doing all the building off camera, but then I'm like, wait a second, this is actually kind of interesting to see, you know, is this strategy going to work? Obviously, we now have this cloister um, coming into being, which is nice. Wow, we have, looks like the Abbey Church building is the most stone requiring. 410 stone for this small little piece in comparison to the entire thing. So I think probably the Abbey proper, um, let's actually see, let's look at this one and see how much that costs. Yeah, 100 uh, polished stone each for the Abbey. Let's see, the dorms are 75, the cloisters are 25, so that's not insignificant. Um... We don't have a tower. Oh, we didn't do a tower. Oh, no. Well, that might be something that we could add as time goes on if we add more cloisters and things like that. All right. Um, okay, so what's going on here? We have the door done. We did. We do have the cross up there, which is nice. I almost forgot that in the other uh, build here. So let's just watch them build this stuff. I do actually like watching them build. It's kind of fun. But I feel very confident because all of these pieces are getting done. Now, we did have an issue last time with that bakery not getting finished. And I wonder if the issue is that it's colliding with another building. So I want to test this and see if we put it in the same place, if it'll happen again. Because I think that was like the second time we built that bakery. Let's try it again. Put it over here. We should have, technically, we had a bunch of flour, but we don't for some reason. Um, I don't know if it's because of the fields. Maybe there's not enough fields. Let's see, the development zone, the, the field allocated is quite huge. Um, and they're not using that much of it. I think I want to build another farm. For some reason, we don't have a lot of wheat or flour or anything. So let me go ahead. We do have farmers. Yeah, farmers are assigned. It, oh, okay. So one guy is stuck. Seems like it. Why are you stuck, dude? I wonder if these people are actually stuck. Let me assign an available villager. Maybe that's the problem, is that these guys are just gathering wheat, looking to feel needs. Maybe they just weren't functioning, and that's why basically it was running on one third power. <gasps> no! I <laughs> look what I did. I forgot to change the color of the abbey. No! <laughs> Shakes fist at sky. <laughs> After all the iterations. Okay, we're gonna go with brown. We are not tearing this down again. Because it's depressing to have to tear it down again it's like no we must succeed at some point and meanwhile the people of village are like oh phantom monastery in the distance it's a mirage um anyway 
<laughs> so hopefully, hopefully they'll get this stuff done. Come on, guys. It's fine. Uh, we do have... Do we have enough stone? We do have quite a lot of polished stone, so... Makes me wonder if we should, again, build all of these uh, stone working places. Do we still have these people assigned here? Assign villager here. And one is here. Yes, yes, good, good. I think we took two off, as I recall. Oh no, they're here. Good. Very nice. And then here, did we... Yes, we took off one here. And then one here. Needs to do stuff. Okay. Willibald. What a name! That's very interesting. I wonder where that comes from. Sounds very sort of old English. Alright. Uh, but I could be completely mistaken. You never know where these names come from. The etymology on some of them is quite unusual. I'm always fascinated by that myself. Alright, so these guys, you guys have to finish this in order for us to proceed. So we're counting on you, Mr. Uh, Male873. <laughs> We really, really need to be able to rename our villagers. Can we, can we rename them? Can I click here? No, no, no. Okay, apparently not. He's working hard though. He really is working very, very hard. We have all the polished stone needed. This is great. We need some regular stone. I'm not quite sure why we don't have that. Oh, nope, somebody's bringing some. Male 1556 is bringing the regular stone. All right, and this, yeah, the female is bringing the, um, oh, the bakery is done. Well then, okay. It is not, however, colliding with the other bakery. Uh, we do want to assign a couple of bakers to get that going. How is this happening? Are we having a good time here? Preparing for work, gathering wheat. Excellent. I wonder if these people just got stuck. And that was the reason for the, the farm not producing enough. How are we gonna, how are we doing now? We have a little bit of bread. Oh, we have some wheat now. Go away. Shoe thing. Don't want to talk to you. No, no. All right, we have a little bit of iron. I wonder if we should get some more charcoal going. Working, working, and working. Good, good, good citizens. I'm, I, I approve of this. You don't have shoes. You need to go and buy yourself a t-shirt, girl. Uh, working and working. Excellent. Right. Um, t-shirt. They do have some t-shirts. But it might be time to start a new t-shirt making business. I am feeling that this might be a good idea. Come on, monastery, you can do it. You can get built. Wow, we have almost all the things we just need. 45 stone, 10 gloss. Uh, I hope we are still importing that stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I will increase this to having 10. You know what? I'm going to increase it. I'm going to increase it to having 50. Because we have enough money, we might as well spend it on something useful that we're going to use, like, for the rest of the thing. So yeah, let's do it. Let's buy 50 glass, even though it's probably extremely... 50 butter a piece. So that's, well, 50 butter times 50, uh, 50 glass is a lot. Um, I mean, I need to probably... Uh, yeah, yeah, math is fine, but not on YouTube. Here we go. Calculator to the rescue. 2,500. That's what I thought it was, but I didn't... I wasn't quite sure about the number of zeros. Anyway, um, we can afford 2,500 glass right now. So I'm happy to be buying that uh, and have enough available for whatever constructions we see fit. Come on, guys. You can do stuff. Please do stuff. Male is bringing five glass. And female, this one, is assigned to construction... Her building. Look at her building. Yay. Oh, ooh, that's a very interesting outfit. Aha, that's my Eleonora. Greetings, my pet. Oh, that is the Song of the Purple Gloves. Yes, if you're not familiar with the Song of the Purple Gloves, that is it. Yes, my pet, hello. Okay, she's very excited to bring us the Purple Gloves. They are her favorite toy. It, it, yes, they are. <laughs> I don't use fingerless gloves, and somehow I ended up with some kind of a knit gloves. And um, since I never use them, I just kind of had them balled up into like a little ball like you make socks into. Um, and Eleanor has sort of adopted it one day. And uh, so she carries these gloves around the house with her <laughs> little ball, little ball of gloves. She likes big toys. She's very into big toys. So, um, yeah. Yes, my pet. Hello. 
and she loves to meow about it. And I don't know for the life of me what she's saying, but I assume she's announcing the return of the purple gloves um, because they make her happy, perhaps. I don't know, but it is adorable. So, all right, we have another male is bringing more gloss. Let's see, how much do we have? Did we actually get a shipment of this stuff in? I don't think it's here. I think it's in the other uh, here. Yes, it is. We have five. Okay, we just need the trader to come by. Hopefully they will soon. Oh, we're getting stone. We're getting stone coming in. Yay, and we got the glass. So that should be the stained glass window. Let's go and look at the other abbey construction scheme. Is it the abbey? Yes, it's the abbey that requires the glass. Anything else needs glass? No, not so far. Decorative bushes. What do those look like? They look like little boxes with bushes in them. Okay, those are fine. I wonder if any of these are needed. I wonder if they are required, for example, by the herb garden. This is not clear to me. <laughs> I, I, we need to know this at some point. That would be good. Come on, guys. Finish, finish. Let's go. All right, this is our current... Oh, we have all the bits and pieces. Yes, we do. All right, they're going to finish this, and then we're going to edit this, and we're going to add more bits to it. We have to only add from one side. I'm really scared to add more than one piece at a time, actually. So this part, maybe, is when I will just do it off camera and then show you stuff. Concede a villager to the monastery. Wow. Oh. Oh, Brother Male has joined. Okay, so before we concede any more villagers to the monastery, let's edit this. We'll add another cloister center. And I'm going to build it basically like this here. Uh, and I think we'll just... We'll do that. We'll stay with the brown theme because I'm going to forget to click in between. And before you know it, we'll have a rainbow of colors with this. It's funny because when I put the blueprint of it over I just I literally just dragged it on top and aligned it the best I could with the old one so but we're gonna keep this one here just for our own instructions but I think I will just go off right now and build the rest of this and uh, and then come back when it is done so thank you very much uh, for for watching I'm I'll be right <laughs> I'll be right back in a second all right, after quite a long time, I have no idea uh, how long it took me, but you can see the amount of time that the game's been going on uh, in the lower section there. But anyway, I am on the last section. Oh my goodness, I have built this one section at a time uh, to finish this uh, area. All I have left is one herb garden, and I'm going to put in the apiaries. Now, I did add one segment to the monastery, which is an extra cloister here. As you can see, this was straight to the corner, but I was worried. I noticed, ah, oh, there's these decorative bushes, and do we actually need those for herb gardens? Now, uh, if we look at this thing, if we... Cl oh, let's just get out of this. Can we get out? There we go. We actually started the herb garden here, and they are making herbs just just by themselves. So we don't actually need the bushes. So I was kind of worried about that before I had built the herb garden because we had to go in this snake-like pattern around. And I added, of course, an extra cloister over there. Um, but we don't need them. So we can just have a little bit more space for the apiaries um, so people don't get stuck, hopefully. Uh, we'll put one here. And let's put another one over here. And I think let's just trust this for now. And then we'll add the next apiary shortly. I wonder if I should put this a little bit more square wise like this. So we could potentially have one here as well. Um, yeah, let's put this one here. And then start construction. It's more efficient if more people can get in here. I hope that this works. Oh, man. If this doesn't work, I am not going to build a cloistered monastery. I'm going to build an abbey, and then I'm going to build two apiaries and a couple of herb gardens. I am not going to build this whole wonderful thing until this um, gets fixed. 
Um, but having said that, I love the modular building system. I think it's fabulous. We just have some issues with pathfinding and such that the devs no doubt will get ironed out in time. Um, so the other thing that I've been doing while I've been waiting forever for this thing to build is I have, um, well, we, I made sure that all the markets have been assigned with honey, herbs, and wine. We don't have any wine. Uh, and then of course, because we're not sure how the market tenders are allocated, I assume it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but I don't know for sure. So I have assigned all of the market tenders to each of the markets. I believe all of them are assigned. Did I have, uh, yeah, that one, that, this was the last market I think I needed. And a lot of those came from the builders. Um, I also went through a couple of the professions just to check if there's like way too many of a particular profession or not. Um, we have a lot of stone coming in. However, um, yeah, to get 693 stone, it's going to take forever. So what I've decided to do is quickly so that we can start building the keep over here. Let's just make a very short wooden bridge. Um, because that, that seems to make sense to me. Let them finish that and we can stockpile the stone as, as things are going on and as we can afford to make a big fancy bridge. Uh, okay. So let's see what we have here. Let's go with our wooden wooden bridge. You know what? We could have, um, let's see. Okay. This one goes this way like that, I think. Okay. 80 planks. We can afford that easily. Uh, start construction. Boom. Done. So this can now be settled. Otherwise this island is completely inaccessible. Uh, we're keeping all of this. Did we finish the monastery yet? No, yeah, not yet. Not yet. Oh, but the herb garden is in. Oh, it's in place. Excellent. So we do need a couple of more villagers because wait, do we, is this finished? Not yet. Oh, we can't finish it until the apiary is finished. So Florence is bringing five planks to come and finish this. I am very concerned about what I'm seeing here that 45 villagers are lacking food. Uh, we do have 22 berries here. But I'm wondering if they're... Whoa, look at the fish. We have no fish either. So I think berries and fish we're going to have to get. We need also bread. We need all the food. Uh, so I'm wondering if instead of building this up, that we really should just get some more people making food. Um, stuff like this. Let's go ahead and get a fisher's hut out here. But yeah, we need, we need more food. We definitely need food going on here. See, there go for this. Another fisher's hut over here. And another fisher's hut over here. Now our economy uh, was going really, really low. Uh, we had um, a total of something like 600 per month. But now that we've been selling herbs, we've actually been increasing that quite a bit. We sold 405 last time. Uh, but I think we definitely need to get production up on things like berries. So how are we doing here with these berry things? Foragers. Okay. We have all these. I think we just need more foragers, um, to get things going. Do we have, we have a couple of berry huts here. Are these all assigned? These are all assigned. Um, maybe another one here, because if we just keep eating these berries, of course it's going to be completely uh, used here. So let's go ahead and get another forager. Gathering hut. I keep looking for forager and it's... Nope, nope, nope. It's gathering hut. Okay, let's just have a bunch. <laughs> this is going to look like... Okay, we're totally focused on that berry bush. <laughs> Alright, so how's this going? Hey, how you doing? Oh no. Please don't tell me you're stuck somewhere. Okay, we're going to hopefully help female 1531. Please, please build this. They're bringing five lumber. Going to fetch. Oh God, please don't tell me it is. No, please, please don't tell me this is stuck. If it is stuck, I... Wow. So this is stuck. This makes me so sad. I am ready to cry. <laughs> to 
because I am really ready to cry. This is so painful. Um, and I can't even do anything. I can't destroy this partially. Um, I just, wow. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's forbidden. Wait, maybe. <laughs> maybe. That's interesting that we were able to finish this, though. Let's make this unforbidden. Let's see if that will help. Please, please. Wait, come on. Wait, you can come, please. Fetching, fetching, fetching. Go fetch, please, please. Ah, yes, and you'll notice this is a new uh, warehouse. Oh, she's got, she's getting it. She's bringing it. <gasps> yes. Oh my God, this is good. Oh, okay. So that's one thing that I would like to see if there are continuing to be stuck problems. The ability to either delete small buildings partially uh, or cancel construction of the new stuff or something like that without destroying the entire construction. Okay, we need two more herbalists and two more beekeepers. We need to concede some villagers here. Three, four. So that should be six people here. We are definitely going to need more folks uh so let's build we need to edit this i love the scroll bar thank you again devs i can't tell you how excited i am by this this is great all right let's add another apiary here and i want to add another apiary over here if possible i think we can and they can they can they can walk around this i hope okay good and then if that works i kind of would like a decorative bush maybe in here Let's see, there's one with sticks, or there's one without sticks. Maybe with sticks kind of looks a little bit more like, I don't know, like they're doing stuff. I'm curious what this is going to look like. We'll just put some one here in the Abbey Garden. Let's just start this. Let's start construction, and we're going to pray, literally, that this is going to work. Because I was serious. If this didn't work, I'm like, no, just Abbey building, and then we'll have a whole bunch of garden features here. I mean, I could envision just something like, you know, uh, herb garden, cloister, herb garden, cloister, that kind of an arrangement just to get plenty of production. They are producing. Look at this. There's boxes going in and out of the herb gardens here. Um, and hopefully soon we're going to get the these guys. We need to concede villagers two more uh, for this. How many more do we need? Okay, let's exit that. Oh, here's the uh, the little garden there. That's pretty good. Um, I think I'll add a few more of those while we're here. Let's slow down the game a bit. Uh, right, we do need two more beekeepers. Concede, one, two. Whoops, we didn't get two. All right, we need to wait for people to come in here. Uh, right, so let's add another decorative bush. I don't think these cost anything in resources, so should be fine when we add them here. One. And maybe we'll put one in the center here. Just for our funsies. Just to make it look a little bit more like lived in. I am kind of afraid of blocking. Does that look okay? Yeah, I think that looks alright. Uh, okay, so start construction. There we go, and boom. Building complete. Perfect. We need one more uh, brother to live here. One more monk. Now then, now that this is finally finished, I'm going to take the other building and just kind of... Can I put it... Oh, wow. I can store it over here if I wanted to. So that's going to live over there forever. And we don't even have to see it. Okay, we did get two more fishermen huts. We need to assign people. Here we go. Ah, that's right. We still have probably quite a few uh, females available to work. Because only the males seem to be uh, attached to the monastery. Which is, you know... Uh, kind of a thing. They didn't used to have uh, double order um, monasteries or abbeys. There was one, I think, in England where they had both monks and nuns living together. It was uh, quite interesting. Well, I mean, not, not together together. Uh, they had separating walls, but um, <clears throat> there were stories. <laughs> anyway, I, 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 I watch a lot of Time Team, and so I found this very amusing. Now, um, 
Wow. We have so much stuff ahead of us that I think this has been this has been an arduous episode for me because of building this thing one piece, tile by tile, literally. And I think this is probably a good place to end the episode. Um, we, I think the plans for the future are we need to start letting people upgrade their houses because these are basically poor people. They're not able to do anything. Um, but we also don't have enough production. We have not enough clothes, not enough bread. So that's our, probably our next thing that we need to do is just really focus on getting up production for these new things and then building houses in those areas. I might extend the population areas this way because I feel like the monastery could be like this big like approximately uh, so I don't want to build too much in here at all I would really rather extend this way in this direction and that makes more sense to have the keep over here in the castle and whatnot so that's the plan um, probably production next episode I'm thinking unless something else comes up but in any case thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time